Over the past century, one of the main problems of humanity has become the need for energy. We extract most of it from fossil fuels, but the world's population increases along with the scale of production. One day, the Earth's resources may simply run out. It would be much better to use an almost unlimited source of energy. What about the sun? It's not as far-fetched as it might seem at first glance. However, you'll see for yourself. To begin with, as usual, a few numbers. The sun emits almost 400 septillion watts per second. This is a trillion times more than all the energy consumed by humanity in its entire history. Or it's almost like two billion Tsar Bombas exploding every second. Unfortunately, only a small fraction of the solar energy reaches our planet. Wait, did I say unfortunately? Unfortunately, only a small fraction of the solar energy reaches our planet. We're able to survive on Earth because the sun's energy is directed not only at our planet, but is evenly distributed in all directions. Plus, we're about 93 million miles away. The deeper the energy of solar radiation penetrates the atmosphere, the less dense it becomes. If all the energy of the sunlight falling on the Earth's surface in Texas alone could be converted into electricity, it would be 300 times more than the total output of all power plants in the world. But imagine for a moment, humanity has completely exhausted the energy of our planet and now uses the power of the sun, or approximately 10 to the 26th watts. Famous physicist Michio Kaku pointed out that this could happen by about the year 3000. What will become of the Earth and people in such conditions? The sun's energy would change everything. In a little less than a thousand years, we'd be able to colonize a tiny part of the galaxy, the Milky Way, learn how to light stars, and destroy planets the size of Jupiter. Nothing known to science would be able to destroy our culture. Collisions with asteroids could be avoided by using rocket technology. The greenhouse effect would be neutralized using hydrogen or solar technology. We could leave the planet or even move it if necessary. Since the energy would be enough to change the trajectory of asteroids, people would probably learn to direct them around the Earth, thus gradually correcting its orbit. We may even learn how to control stellar cataclysms or use antimatter engines. And all this is quite possible to do, if you can harness the energy of the sun. However, this doesn't mean that humanity would be able to get rid of all possible threats once and for all. Even the most modern technologies aren't able to cancel the second law of thermodynamics. This says that chaos in a closed system always increases. In simple terms, all the machines invented together would produce so much infrared heat radiation that it would make life on the planet impossible. And no refrigerators would help here, they'd also radiate heat. Earth would be in danger of overheating. To survive, despite the second law of thermodynamics, you'd have to disperse all of the invented devices. For example, take most of this equipment into outer space. This means that all of the equipment that threatened humanity would work off-planet. The devices would continue to consume solar energy, but the excess heat would go into outer space and dissipate harmlessly and everyone would be satisfied. However, I've only talked about the possible consequences. Is there any hypothetical device that could actually provide us with solar energy? Oddly enough, yes. This could be done with a so-called Dyson Sphere. 
a massive hypothetical structure of a cosmic scale. Its concept was first expressed by British-American theoretical physicist Freeman Dyson. Back in 1960, Dyson suggested that an advanced alien species would eventually want to use all the energy of its home star, and it would probably do so by enclosing the star in a massive metal shell. A Dyson sphere 550 million times the size of the Earth could store almost 100% of the sun's radiated energy. Will people ever be able to create such a device? The answer to this question seems to be positive. Of course, this won't happen in the near future. Humanity hasn't yet mastered the necessary technologies. But in a couple thousand or tens of thousands of years, such a project may well be implemented. Yet, it couldn't be a solid sphere. Otherwise, it would be gravitationally unstable and would be constantly bombarded by asteroids. A more stable system would be a Dyson Swarm, thousands or even millions of satellites orbiting the Sun. These satellites could function as solar panels that absorb the energy of our Sun, but it's more likely that they would act on the principle of a mirror, redirecting sunlight to special power stations then the energy would be redirected to the right place. In order to create a sufficient group of satellites surrounding the sun, a lot of raw materials would be required. And by a lot, I mean just an unrealistic amount. Scientists estimate that at least one planet would have to be dismantled for the Dyson Swarm. Only in this way could you get enough material. And Mercury is sometimes considered a likely candidate. It's close to the Sun and fits perfectly in size. Goodbye, Mercury. I liked you. By the way, did you know that the core of this planet is, most likely, the size of our Moon? I've already made a video about the internal structure of the planets of the solar system. Watch it. If you haven't seen it yet, you'll learn a lot of interesting things. In fact, the story of the Dyson Sphere or Swarm sounds like a retelling of some fantasy novel. The technology seems unrealistic. But what if the Dyson Sphere already existed somewhere in the universe today? In the year 2015, several astronomers published the results of studies examining luminosity changes in Tabby's star from the constellation Cygnus. The star was acting really strange. In a matter of days, its luminosity would drop by 20% and then quickly recover. The researchers tried to explain the star's unusual flickering as the result of a Dyson Swarm or another astro-engineering structure. Unfortunately, the hypothesis was never confirmed. The universe hides many secrets, but studying it gives us a chance not only to better understand the structure of galaxies, stars, and planets. In this way, you can go back to the past, right up to the Big Bang, or make a leap into the distant future, a trillion years ahead. The main thing is not to miss anything. I follow all the bold theories, sensational scientific discoveries, and unexpected hypotheses. Join me.